Good morning. Today is Monday, September the 26th, and our lesson this morning is The Word Made Flush. And our lesson is coming from John, the first chapter, the first verse through the fourth. And the scripture lesson text read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Amen. This has given us an, an, a genealogical aspect of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he is the Word made flesh. I'm going to read you a passage from the Believer's Bible Commentary. It says, The Bible teaches that there is one God and that there are three persons in the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All three of these persons are, are God. In this verse, two of the persons of the Godhead are mentioned, God the Father and God the Son. It is the first of many clear statements in this, in this gospel that Jesus Christ is God. It is not enough to say that he is a God, that he is God-like, or that he is divine. The Bible teaches that he is God. Verse 2 would appear to be a mere repetition of what has been said, but actually is not. This verse teaches that Christ's personality and deity were without beginning. He did not become a person for the first time as the babe of Bethlehem, nor did he somehow become a god after his resurrection, as some teach. Today he is God from all eternity. All things were made through him. He himself was not a created being. Rather, he was the creator of all things. This includes mankind, the animals, the heavenly planets, the angels, all things visible and invisible. Without him, nothing was made that was made. There can be no possible expectation, exception. If a thing was made, he made it. As a creator, he is, of course, superior to anything he has created. All three persons of God of the Godhead were involved in the work of creation. God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 and 1. The Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Genesis 1 and 2. All things were created through Him, Christ, and for Him. Colossians 1 and 16b. In Him was life. This does not simply mean that he possessed life, but that he was and is the source of life. The word were, here includes both physical and spiritual life. When we were born, we received physical life. When we were born again, we received spiritual life. Both come from him. The life was the light of men. The same one who supplied us with life is also the light of men. He provides the guidance and direction necessary for man. It is one thing to exist, but quite another to know how to live, to know the true purpose of life, and to know the way to heaven. The same one who gave us life is the one who provides us with light for the pathway we travel. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson we have this morning. He is our light in our life, teaching us which way to go and how to go. And if we follow him, we shall have eternal life after death. I pray that you meditate on this lesson. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.